Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom and I thought it would be a fun little adventure to see if we can watch both Disney's Enchantment here at the Magic Kingdom and then hop over to Epcot to watch Harmonious in the same night. Because of the timing, I think it's very doable. One show starts at 8 o'clock, the other one starts at 9.45 and I figured, hey, it's worth a shot. Anywho's, let's go do this. As I'm making my way into the Magic Kingdom, I realized that the Happily Ever After poster is officially gone. This is the first time I actually just realized that this is gone and it's replaced with Disney Enchantment presented by Pandora. You are the magic. Right there it is. I'm really excited to actually do this video. I always love doing videos where you kind of like have a goal or like a challenge, you know what I mean? I feel like this is kind of a challenge. We have an hour and 45 minutes. Well, not even an hour and 45 minutes because we have to account for the runtime of the shows. So we have just about an hour to commute from Magic Kingdom to Epcot and find a good spot to actually watch the fireworks in both places. One of the good things about watching the fireworks here at Magic Kingdom is I want to watch Disney's Enchantment from the middle of Main Street USA because I want to see the projections on Main Street so it's going to be quick for us to get out of here without getting tangled up in crowds but getting over to Harmonious that's a different challenge. It's six o'clock now so it gives us two hours before showtime here at the Magic Kingdom. I think we'll get maybe some snacks or ride some rides and then we're gonna stake down a spot right here on Main Street for the show and then bounce right on out. It is 625 now and it looks like there is a lot of people waiting to get a good spot for Disney's Enchantment. And look at the castle. Isn't she beautiful? I think I'm going to head on over to Tomorrowland and see what's going on over there. Maybe get a snack or ride a ride like I said before. We don't have a lot of time uh, before we need to get back to Main Street, but we don't need to go there right now because like I said, all the spots up front are people that are waiting for us. So if we're in the middle of Main Street or near the back, we're just going to be able to walk back there and then leave. Look at that beautiful rainbow over Tomorrowland. That is majestic, isn't it? Honestly, I had no idea, but today is Columbus Day, and it is very busy here. I really probably should look at these things before I try to plan out my day. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to do things now, but I don't think it's going to stop us from getting to both parks, but the wait times and attraction lines are very long. Here is the line for the Monsters Incorporated Laugh Floor. It says it's a 25-30 minute wait, and usually this is kind of a walk-on. So that kind of just gives you an idea. And also, look at Buzz Lightyear uh, Space Ranger. I mean, that's a long line too. 65 minutes for Buzz Lightyear, and like I said, 25 minutes for Monsters, Inc., and that's kind of crazy. So now we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. We only have like 45 minutes to actually find something just so that we can keep ourselves busy, you know what I mean? I was thinking the people mover might be a possibility, but not so much. I mean, it is a very, very busy day here. I am really kind of shocked. I mean, I'm not shocked because it is Columbus Day, and Columbus Day usually is busy, but... This is a posted 50 minute wait. So like nobody's gonna be able to see Disney's Enchantment. They're gonna be in line waiting for the people mover. And I think that's like, wow, right? Since most of the crowds are just looking a little bit high, I think maybe I'll get myself something to eat. And here at the launching pad, which is right underneath the people mover, they have a new thing called If You Had Wings. And they're Caribbean jerk chicken tenders. And that's really awesome. Like usually you get hot dogs and pretzels here. But when I seen the chicken tenders, I was like, this is something new, I have to try it. If You Had Wings was an attraction here at the Magic Kingdom, right where Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin used to be, and it closed in 1989, and I, they brought it back kind of in a food version to help celebrate the 50th anniversary. I think that's really cool. I never got to ride the ride. It was before my time of coming to Disney, but I would have loved it. I mean, I love all kind of dark rides, and uh, it seems like it's a ride that was right up my alley. Let me know in the comments if you ever got to ride if you had wings. Since I wasn't able to ride, the least I can do is try the jerk chicken strips that they're named after. They actually look really good. And it seems so strange because the launching pad, like I said, usually just has like pretzels and hot dogs. I don't even think they have like fryers there. So I think these are baked maybe. We'll find out. I'm going to bite into it and let you know here. They definitely have a little kick to them. You can taste the spice. I mean, that's probably because of the jerk seasoning, and uh, yeah, I like them. 
they're not fried. I think they are baked because they're soft. They're not crispy. These are actually really delicious. And for $10, you get one side. I ended up getting a little orange, but you could get potato chips with them. And it looks like you get just about five of them. So it's actually a really good deal. I would not sleep on the if you had wings because these are actually very delicious. Like I said, uh, a little bit of spice, like mild. Uh, you can see it. It's in the name, jerk chicken strips. You can see the jerk seasoning all over them. And I think they are like baked too, like I said. Uh, definitely not fried because they're kind of soft, but very good. I like these. There you go. I think you can get a good look at all the seasoning right there. It's, uh, it's literally covered on all of them. Since we just had the if you had wings chicken strips, I kind of feel like I should do Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin since that's the replacing attraction and the queue definitely went down a lot because when we first walked in, this was all full. So it might not be 40 minutes. We might be able to get in there pretty quickly and still get a spot for fireworks. We'll see. We're going to try it. I've got my Spider-Man mask on this time. I forgot my other blue mask and this one's like a little tiny, but I like it. I like Spider-Man. I can't wait to ride web slingers. That's not bad at all. It only took about 20 minutes and we're already here. We're about to board up. And did you know this is the same track from If You Had Wings? I actually looked it up and I thought that was really interesting. I hope that's correct, but if it is, I mean, that's really cool. I'm aiming to be a galactic hero this time. Hopefully I can. Ooh. Engaged. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm not doing too good. And plus, I just want to keep on spinning because it's really fun. Oh boy. Okay, gotta hit the top of that volcano. Feed me, Seymour! Feed me! Oh boy. Now it's time to spin. Oh. <laughs> He's blinding me with his death ray! Well, I didn't make the Galactic Hero, but at least I am a Cosmic Commando. So that's good. I was just too busy spinning around and actually looking at one of the aliens that looks like the uh, plant from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Looks like the people mover's down as well. I would love to walk the track on the people mover. That would be a dream come true. Just to be able to walk actually off and then come down, that would be amazing. One day it's gonna happen. It actually is down right now, so if it goes back up, we might be able to run right on over and get on it. I don't think that's gonna happen. It'll, it might be down for the day now. I don't think the people mover is gonna come back up. I think we should just go get our spot on Main Street so we can watch the fireworks. Maybe grab a coffee, you know, have a coffee, hang on a Main Street, watch fireworks. Sounds like a beautiful moment. Honestly, it's only been about an hour since we first walked in to Tomorrowland and look at all the lines are gone now. There was a huge line for Monsters Inc., a huge line for Buzz Lightyear. It was like 50 minutes for People Mover. Now both, all three of those attractions have no line. Well, People Mover's closed though. Oh yeah, now I see why there's nobody waiting in lines. They're all on Main Street waiting for the fireworks. We got just about 45 minutes to go. And, oh yeah, about 45 minutes to go. And look at that, holy moly. Isn't Casey so pretty all lit up though? <laughs> oh boy. Yep. We got spots down this way. This is for the exit. Anyone? Holy moly. I don't think I'd ever see the day the hour before fireworks, and there's almost no line to get a coffee. This is incredible. Honestly, I was approaching the bakery and I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to get a coffee. And look at this. No line at all. So everything's going to work out perfect. Also, did they add a chicken tender hoagie to the menu at Starbucks? 
I think they literally added a chicken tender hoagie to the menu here at Starbucks. I gotta try that. I mean, I'll come back and try it, but that is really interesting. Right here at the bakery, who would have known? Seriously, I'm just still so shocked that there is nobody ordering coffee right now. Look at Main Street right now. Holy moly, and there's not a single person in here. Now we got our pumpkin cream cold brew. Oh, much too good. Ooh, we gotta find our fireworks. The magic of fantasy. Swirling with pixie dust. This is not a good spot. <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe the best spot is actually on the train station. So we're going to make our way up here. I'm so happy you're coming up. Yeah. We watch you all the time. Thank you. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I cannot even begin to tell you how long it has been since I've been on top of the train station here. And I'm kind of <laughs> really happy about it. And we're going to watch Enchantment from here. I don't know what it's like because I've never seen it from up here, but uh, we'll find out tonight. Look at that, you can see the Astro Orbiter over there, spinning round and round, and then look at all the people excited to watch Disney's Enchantment tonight. Isn't that beautiful? I also love the fact that they wrote Mr. Morrow on my pumpkin cold brew. Very fancy, this is great. This is turning out to be a very fun, amazing adventure and I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that I could show you guys as well. Just about three minutes to go. Look at Gracie go. She's a little Hufflepuff. I plan on not recording the whole entire show, only because we're gonna have a lot of footage. Now, we still have to make our way over to Epcot and watch Harmonious there, so I'm just gonna put in some of my favorite parts, definitely into the unknown, because that is my favorite part, and uh, yeah, just kinda chop it up a little bit.
that was awesome to watch up here on the train station. This is something brand new that if they have available space, you just ask and they'll let you up. And it was great. I really liked it a lot. But we need to go because we need to catch Harmonious. The fastest way probably to get over to Epcot is getting on the monorail, taking it to TTC, and then taking the Epcot monorail to Epcot. So we're gonna have to hop aboard. And we did like dodge a big crowd. Shouldn't be that much of a wait. So I guess we're just gonna hop scotch right on over to Epcot. So even though we were literally right at the exit, we still have a pretty long wait to get into the monorail line. I'm just gonna hopefully think that we're gonna get there soon. That was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it is Columbus Day weekend, so like I said, well, it's Columbus Day. It's not even Columbus Day weekend, and the crowds are busy. I thought I was going to get here a little bit quicker, but it took a while, especially getting on at Magic Kingdom. I'm probably not going to put most of that in there because, like I said, it was just rush, 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 and then I ran to the Epcot monorail, and here we are. We made it. We're at Epcot. But isn't this just a beaut? As soon as you get off the monorail here at Epcot, you're greeted with that grand, miraculous spaceship Earth, all lit up and beautiful. I love it. It is just about nine o'clock now, and it took us like a good 45 minutes to actually get over here. And I thought I was getting gonna get over here. I don't know why I thought I was gonna get over here quicker than I thought I would. Um, but I don't know if we're gonna have much time to do anything here other than get a spot for Harmonious, but we'll see once we get in there. We were just in time for Beacons of Magic, and now I think it's starting over again. Look at that. might be pushing it but I think I'm gonna try and ride the single rider line for test track and then make my way over to World Showcase like I said we just got about an hour uh, well not even an hour because it's 945 I keep on thinking the park closes at 10 but the fireworks are at 945 so we got about 45 minutes I think it's doable I honestly don't think I'm gonna get a good spot for Harmonious either way like even if I went over there right now I'm probably not gonna get a good spot So I might as well try to get a ride in so that that way we can say we did one ride in each park one show Oh, I should get like something to eat here, too Because then that's one ride one show one snack in each park The line says it's a 40 minute standby wait so that means the single rider line might be super low I'm, I'm kind of crossing my fingers and hoping it's single like super low I might have made a mistake. <laughs> I think we're gonna be good though. We're still gonna make it. It's 9.17, so the single rider line didn't move as quick as I thought it would. And uh, yeah, we're about to get on. I still think we're good for the fireworks. It's just, we're gonna have to run. Hello. Hats off for this one. <laughs>
That was a little rough. <laughs> I had to change my battery, so I accidentally dropped my tripod on the ground, and I was holding it with my foot because I couldn't grab it with my seatbelt on. But look, there it is. <laughs> so I'm just holding my camera. I held it the whole entire ride. <laughs> there we go. Now I can take the seatbelt off and I can grab it. <laughs> Look at me holding my camera. How funny is that? And my tripod is down there somewhere. Now we got 15 minutes. Oh my lord, my hat is all messed up. I think I bent the brim. <laughs> like I was saying, 15 minutes to make it over to World Showcase Lagoon and grab maybe a beer. I think that qualifies as a snack, something that I got from the park. Hopefully maybe a pumpkin spice latte beer inside uh, the Bruin Wing experience. That would be nice. They didn't have any of the pumpkin spice latte, but they do got a lightning lager. So I think I'm going to try the lightning lager. It sounds fun. Lightning lager. Sounds powerful, doesn't it? Absolutely. I, I think the pumpkin spice latte sounds more powerful though. <laughs> now it's time to try the lightning lager and then frantically search for a place to watch the fireworks at. It tastes like lightning. Mexico is not looking promising, so I think we're gonna have to maybe try to go to the front area here. I mean, I'm okay like just right here, but if I can find just the tiniest little space, I'll be okay with that too. Oh boy, this ain't looking promising either. Oh boy. Ah, don't know which way to go. We're going to the left. We got this. To the right. To the left. <laughs> there we go. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. That's the way. Woo. I don't mind, but I found a spot right next to a trash can in front of a tree. So we'll make it work. Only four minutes to spare. How awesome is that? I don't mind the tree view. It's pretty nice. I like trees. Just me and a trash can sitting, getting ready to watch Harmonious. Can't ask for anything better than this. I'm just super happy that we got a cannon right next to us because my favorite part of this show is all the cannon burst and there's one right there. I wish I could be in between like two of them because that would be insane because they really hit it. They're like boom, 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 boom. And that would be great because it would be on this side and then on that side, but I don't see one over here. I mean, it's still going to be good though. You got a little tree on the top here, but that's okay. Most of the action's right there.
And with that, I think we are done here. What an amazing, is that a monorail going behind me right now? It is beautiful, right? Yeah, I always get distracted by the monorails, but I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. It was really fun to park hop and see both shows. And I don't know, I just, I, I really like making the videos. Like this was so much fun to me. And just so I could show you guys and have fun myself at the same time, it's like the greatest blessing ever. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Look at that. I waited 84 years for that shot.